So I'm going to go over the conceptual underpinnings of Starling's equation over here. I'm not going to go over the equation itself or any of the math, um, but just the conceptual framework, which hopefully I'll explain clearly enough. But feel free to correct me. Um, absolutely welcome criticism. So on this side we have an arterial and a venule. And in the middle here we have the capillary bed. And the heart, let's say, is somewhere. <laughs> and it's going to pump blood into the arterial. Now the heart is going to supply a strong force and this is going to result in high hydrostatic pressure on this, on the arterial side. Um, hydrostatic pressure is basically another word for blood pressure. And as you move from arterial to venule, your pressure decreases. Or, um, hydrostatic. So um, this is because of the energy it takes uh, to um, move the fluid across, and um, so as far so the farther you get from this pump here, um, the lower the pressure. So and then we also have an osmotic pressure, which is going to be constant throughout the capillary bed. So what happens is. We have a constant osmotic pressure and uh, a decreasing hydrostatic pressure. So in the beginning, near the arterial side, this hydrostatic pressure is going to overcome the lower osmotic pressure and it's going to result in things moving out of the capillary into what is called the interstitial fluid. This is the fluid surrounding um, cells in the human body, or just cells. Um, so you can think of this as these two areas as um, tissues. So when this 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 net net pressure out of the capillary bed um, results in filtration. So that means good into tissues. So the good stuff could be nutrients, glucose, um, anything the cells really need. And then as you move over to the venule side, the pressure is decreasing. At some point, the hydrostatic pressure and the osmotic pressure, somewhere along here, are going to be zero. Uh, I mean, they're going to equal each other. And then after that point, the osmotic pressure is going to be greater than the hydrostatic pressure, which will result in this pressure inward which is going to result in absorption. So this is bad stuff into blood. So this, this means that this could mean anything like uh, CO2 or urea, um, things that need to be discarded from the cells that the cells don't need. So then, and then this gets carried to the venule, and um, um, yeah, that's kind of the the gist of it. 
if you find any mistakes, please let me know. Um, sorry for all the shakiness. Um, I am, I'm only a first year medical student, so I'm doing this to help myself learn the material as well. Um, so I absolutely welcome uh, criticism. Please feel free. Thanks. Have a good day.